Jake and Cody here with How To Alaska and tonight we're on the beaches of Cook Inlet and we're going to try to catch some halibut from shore. It's pretty slow fishing generally but today we have for a setup we have a hooligan that we caught in one of our other videos. We have a spin and glow to keep it off the bottom. We have a four ounce sinker and uh, and we have that tied to swivel so the goal is uh, we'll cast this out as far as we can get it. Hopefully we can reach the sand flats. So the beaches here are steep and then they flatten out to sand flats and the halibut will be on the sand flats. So we're going to see if we can't catch anything tonight. It's high tide right now or going to be shortly and that's the perfect time to catch a halibut. <music> Tide is definitely coming in. What do you think, Cody? I think we're going to catch something. We'll see. It's getting kind of late. They do like to bite in the daytime. Watch that tip. If it starts going, that means we got one. Close to me, I think we might have a little something on here. I think if the halibut and it eats it down, it'll just it'll take off and the pole double over. <laughs> I say that there might be go. wishful yep. thinking. Yep. Chaga's anticipation is the best. Yeah. I bet you it was a flounder. Shh. I've got a tough louse for that. It just, it can't hear me. I bet you it was a flounder or a sole. Elephant sole or a flounder. Because uh, whatever, it took the tail off of it. If it was a halibut, it probably would have taken it. The whole, the thing. whole thing. Yeah. A self-respecting halibut, though, would leave that much bait on the table. <laughs> Chug is sitting on the four-wheeler watching the poles. She's pretty excited about this. She knows there's fish out there. She likes fishing. A little too much, actually. Sometimes she gets in the way. So this is kind of our rough catch or bycatch. These guys have a big old mouth. They can take a big bait. They're called a staghorn sculpin. And uh, this is a normal size one that we catch on the beach here. Pretty common. Probably go through a couple of these before we actually get a fish, so. A big old mouth on it. What do you think, Chaga? She likes it. But uh, you gotta watch out for them. You got these little horns on the head right there. They're actually spines. They can, they can get you pretty good with them little horns. They got three spines in them and they're super sharp. So you gotta watch out. They lift their heads up and they lift their horns up and they can they can snag you pretty easy. I'm gonna unhook them and throw them back. So we're hard at it again tonight. It's late, the tides are at a bad time for us, but uh, the wind got a little bit high today. 
right at around high tide. And now it's calming down for the evening. But we're hoping that if we put out in enough tides that maybe we'll get lucky. Still using Hooligan. Another night. We've been getting some bites. And the sun's getting ready to set behind Mount Readout. So it's really cool. It doesn't really get dark at night right now. It just gets pretty dusky. Twilight. And we'll check back in if we get some other hits. Well, this guy's got a really interesting look to it tonight. Kind of half a sun dog's iridescence in the sky over there. And beautiful sunset. It's a pretty night out here. No fish yet. Gotta put in your time. Something. Did you lose them? Okay, keep reeling. I think it's a I think it's a dog fish. I think we got a dog fish. Don't break that line. Keep, keep reeling. Wow, that's a big one. It is a shark. Cooking in the Dutch oven. 
and we are dialed in. Maybe we'll catch a halibut tonight. The rain came in, the wind died down. Yesterday it was uh, pretty surfy in the evening. I didn't even get a line out again. And the trash is still real bad. So we're calling it for this trip. No halibut this time, but um, we'll be back and try again. So at least we got a, a shark from the beach. So that was fun anyways. So another time. We'll put in our time in and we'll get one eventually. Leave us a like, leave us a comment, and if you haven't already, please subscribe.